Hey, how is it going guys today? Uh, today I'm doing this Cool Effect tutorial episode, I think five or six. Uh, it's been a while since I, I've done one, uh, since Colt 96 for the plasma effect, I think. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to show you guys this new effect I've made uh, from the edit called Signs. Uh, first link in the description if you missed it. Uh, it's doing really well, thanks again. You know, it's like 710 likes, I think. Uh, insane support, uh, you know, as always, uh, I can't thank you guys enough. And um, and I'm making this intro just because I'm going to tell you guys that I'm going to start this weekly tutorial uh, series. So I need ideas, I need some fucking inspiration to make them. So write some fucking effects ideas, take some screenshots uh, from uh, my videos where you want to know the effects, but you don't have the money to buy the project file, and I'll do one. Uh, well, I mean, if there's like loads of fucking screenshots, I'll choose, you know, it's not, I'm not gonna do all of them, but I'll take your comments like seriously, and yeah, if there's like loads of screenshots on the same effect, I'll do it for sure. Um, but the only thing I'm gonna ask from you guys is to like this video and of course subscribe if you're not uh, I mean that's obvious but um, I mean leave a like on the video and I, if I see loads of likes of course I'll do a fucking weekly series tutorial so do that and I will do my thing with all the tutorials so hopefully you'll enjoy this video and yeah so guys uh, let's get right into it So uh, what I did was I cut off the clip to the shot. He shoots and there's like this lag thing where you can't see the match bonus. So that is perfect. We're just gonna slow it down a lot. So I bring out Twixter. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to uh, sync with Twixter, go watch it and you will see how to do it. So yeah, you're gonna put 350. I know it's a bit weird. Uh, you're gonna put 20. Oh uh, no, no, five. Five. That is very slow, very, very slow. But anyway, uh, easy ease uh, the curve. Pull this to the side, there we go, and slow this to maximum. All right, so this should do it. Um, all right, so it's really slow, but as you can see, you can't see any match bonus uh, because of the lag uh, thing uh, on the shot, so it's perfect. So you're just gonna cut it off just before the match bonus comes on. So there we go, cut it off, uh, and there we go. You have the shot without any match bonus, so that is perfect. What you're gonna do is pre-comp, so uh, right click and type, uh, click on pre-comp. There we go, and it's going to bring out a uh, composition. Click on it, double click on it, go on the shot. So what you're going to do in this pre-comp is um, all the effects. So it's the comp where there's like no uh, slow-mo, and that's how I write a brush. Uh, yeah. Right, so this is a shot without any slow-mo, so that's going to like make it easy to fucking mask. So use your roto brush, so double click on this, it's gonna bring out the shot without any effects or whatever. And then you're gonna click on the Roto Brush tool and fucking start masking. Like that. And you're gonna do this on everywhere. So everywhere on the fucking sniper uh, up to the end. And there's like only six frames, but yeah. So there you have it. It's the clip without any background. So you can do whatever you want in the background. So it's perfect. Duplicate uh, the first layer and put it on the background side. On the fucking background, uh, you're gonna add some blur. Well, first of all, take off the roto brush. There we go. On the, on the background clip. Uh, you're gonna add some blur, so some uh, um, camera blur. I, I always put like 10, that's a perfect amount for me. So put 10 and it should be good. Next up, you're gonna put some shine. I always see some really weird shines, like white shines, really not realistic. You know, it doesn't have to be realistic, but you know, just make it look good. <laughs> gonna place it uh, behind the trees, there we go. Uh, you're gonna colorize it and you're gonna put it in aqua light. It's gonna give it a bluish style. And uh, what I did was uh, I put some 3.5 on the boost lights. So it's gonna like, like, yeah, boost the light, obviously. How dumb am I? So it's gonna give you this really nice shine, really uh, intense shine. But to compensate it, you're gonna add some edge detects. So you're just gonna put it on like that. Uh, you're gonna invert it and put a zero on the beginning. And then when you arrive at the end, you're gonna put some 40, 40%. So it's gonna give you like this weird texture in the background, as you can see. Uh, you could leave it like that, it would actually look really nice. But uh, if you wanna add some more stuff and if you wanna follow the tutorial up to the end, uh, I would uh, put some, so BCC Film Glow. We're gonna put out one, well, first of all, the glow radius does, it's not that important, put it just like, I don't know, 100. Uh, the glow intensity, that is quite important. You're gonna put out 170, let's say. 
Uh, so it's very intense, but uh, in the end, you're going to put it up. Uh, you're going to put it down to 15. There we go. Do you know it's a shot? So you need like an explosion. And this is a pre comp, guys. So in the sinking uh, on the on the main comp. Um, the shot will look very slow and it will look good, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, then the more, more complicated thing where you can really be creative is when you add a curve. So there we go, bring out curve, uh, fucking keyframe this and go to the end and what I did was cut this and cut this. So it's going to give you this really weird colours um, and it will really look dope. Um, yeah guys, this is really a random effect, but that actually looks quite nice already. So Then after that, you're going to bring out uh, the um, glow. It's not the BCC film glow, it's the normal glow. Uh, so you're going to put some 38% keyframe it, and up to the end, you're going to put, uh, yeah, I don't know, like 60. Uh, just so it makes this little nice animation thing. It just fills up the, the, the edge detect with the blur, so it just makes something very nice. Um, and the curve, you know, just makes it all. <laughs> Alright, what you want to do after that is just put on the color mode, you're going to put some blue. You can put whatever color you want, but I always put blue uh, on both things. Uh, I don't know, it just looks nice. Uh, what you want to do also is to make it a bit more uh, neat. Go on the first layer, up, up, up top, you're going to increase that a bit. So the edges look a bit rounder and it will look better. After that's done, you're going to go on the main comp and you're going to see that the effect uh, applies on the main comp. So it's now the effect but in real slow-mo, so it looks dope. <laughs> it really looks nice, I love this effect. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, make sure to leave a like, and uh, if you have any questions at all, uh, make sure to comment, uh, and yeah. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and make sure to check out Signs in the description, the edit, the full edit, you'll really love it, I think. And yeah, 